Oh, so this video today is going to be talking about why I think the 10x rule got it wrong. Okay, so my name is Bryce Tubbs. So I believe the 10x rule got it wrong because I'm, I think he, they underestimated. I've heard Grant Cardone talking about this in a couple different interviews, but I, I really do believe it should be the 100x rule. Everything that we do in life and everything that we, you know, kind of strive for is kind, I believe, again, is based on your past experiences, right? So if in the past you you haven't been able to accomplish goals, either small goals, and you've never really accomplished your goal, well, when you try and start your business or you try and go after financial freedom, wealth, whatever your goal may be, maybe it's travel, you start to you start to set smaller and smaller goals. So your goal right now might be to make $10,000 in sales per month. So you're only going to do actions that would make it to where if I just enough, I'm going to hit this 10,000 um, per month mark. But in actuality, if you're only doing enough actions to hit $10,000 per month or hit 100,000 in sales per, um, you know, for the year, the six figure mark, you're actually going to come up short because you're not gonna be able to plan for the unforeseen things. You're not gonna be able to plan for this little gap, this little in-between here that's gonna happen. And you might only make 8000 or $8,000 a month or like 90,000. You're gonna miss your goal again, and then the next year you're gonna set a similar goal, which would be, okay, I just wanna make maybe, a, I didn't get to 100,000 or 120,000 last year, I didn't make six figures. So maybe I need to set that same goal again for six figures, and then, oh, again, you got this little gap. And you do that year after year after year after year. Now, if instead the goal had been increased by, you know, 100,000, probably by, if you do 10, that's a million. If the actual goal had been raised to 10 million, it probably would be a lot easier for you to do so. The reason why is because if you're shooting for 10 million, you know you're going to hit six figures. You just know you're gonna do it. But you can take massively different actions than if you were shooting for ten for uh, six figures. Okay, it's gonna cause you to go out and maybe hire someone who can help you get to that next level. Maybe hire a coach. Maybe go and run more advertising. You're gonna have to do a totally different strategy. The strategy that would take you to get to six figures is not the same strategy that it would take to get to say ten million dollars um, in revenue in a year. Okay, now you might say, but Bryce, I'm gonna miss that goal. Okay, I understand that. You're gonna miss you're gonna miss almost every goal that you set because you can never figure out that you know 20% of the unknown, maybe that 50% of the unknown. So if you shoot for a lower goal just because you're like, oh, I, I wanna I wanna make it, I wanna be able to tell myself that I made it, you're not gonna make it, and you're gonna feel bad. However, if we shoot the goal for maybe a million or 10 million, somewhere inside of that range, yeah, we're not going to make it, but that wasn't the point. The point of the goal is for us to start changing our actions to be able to do so, okay? So it's not about hitting the goal. It's about the action that's involved and the amount of energy and the amount of persistence that we're going to need to get to that new level. So that's kind of why I think the 10X rule is wrong in the regards that it's not high enough. It shouldn't be 10x because even 10x, you're still going to miss a goal and you're still going to be deflated. You've got to go at least 20x, 20x to 50x, maybe even 100x because if you really want to create financial freedom, six figures is not is not going to be enough to create financial freedom. You've got to be pushing a little bit higher. You've got to be striving for more. You have to be moving because if you're only doing six figures, let's say that you're um, – that your your program sells for about a thousand dollars. We'll say you have a recurring thing, right? A thousand dollars a month. Okay, cool. So now you have ten clients. Okay, recession hits. Your clients are cut in half. Okay, cool. So now you're only making five thousand dollars a month. Oh, but since you're making six figures, your expenses and your personal life went up because now you make ten figures or sorry, six figures, right? So since you're making ten k per month. Your expense went up, so now you're like, "Ooh, I can afford to get this fa this better car. I can afford to get a nicer house. I can afford to do this." So now your expenses are like six thousand dollars. Okay, cool. Recession hits. Your clients are cut in half. Ooh, now you're only making five thousand pre-tax. So this is this is before taxes, and your monthly expenses are six thousand dollars. Okay, now you're negative. Now you go into a little bit of a panic mode. However, if you were shooting for a little bit higher, maybe 
20,000 per month, like 20,000 in sales per month, you'd be able to, if that was cut in half, okay, cool. Now you're at that six figure mark still, maybe your expenses are 7,000, but now you're still profiting $3,000 per month and it can allow you to maintain what you're doing and then try and get back up to that 10 client level. But an even better plan, go for, go for 50,000 in sales per month. Find a way to do so. Either increase your price, either create another product that can upsell to your current clients. Do a lot of, there's a lot of different things you can do, but once you have that goal, you're going to be able to really have that security, um, that freedom that you really want, okay? If not, you're gonna be, tr you're gonna be too close to failure, okay? Six figures, in my opinion, is too close to failure. Especially if you've been brought up for a middle class kind of mentality where my income increases, my expenses increases. My income increases, my expenses increases. All right, cool. Now my income has decreased. Oops. My expenses, for the most part, can't decrease. Maybe they can go down just a little bit, but now we're too, we're, we're too close. Okay? Cool. So if you have not already, please go join my group. It's called Uncapped Growth Strategies. The link is going to be in the description below or in the comment section. I can't wait to see you in there and join our discussions. Have a great day. Take it easy. See you soon. See you later.